him as a true shepherd. That shepherd we read about in Psalm 23. Apart from the rectors, we acknowledge the contribution of the staff members, both missionaries and local priests, the seasoned priests, who have been staff members here. Lay people, religious men and women, who have taught or assisted in this seminary. Many, as we have known, have assisted the seminarians in their academic, pastoral, human and spiritual formation, thus fulfilling the purpose of the seminaries as a house of holistic formation of priests. We thank all those who have contributed to this cause. As a matter of fact, we have worked as the Second Vatican Council instructed us how our houses of formation seminaries should be. Gaba Seminary, National Seminary, has excelled a lot in academic performance and growth. We thank all those who have contributed to that. What can I say about the pioneer students and the others who followed them. They deserve special mention. Things we are not like we see them today. Start with the buildings, the programs that were to be followed, the number of staff members, and so on and so forth. But these men endured quite a lot and they achieved the goal of their vocation. In terms of social and political hardships, the students have worked hand, hand in hand with the staff. I would like to recall the pioneers, some of them, I understand, they are here and they have lived in this place, I think, for a day or two. Allow me to mention Monsignor Francis Kizevi and Amira. I have also seen Father Sajabi and others. We thank you and thank you for coming. St. Mary's National Seminary, Gaba, has fulfilled the purpose for which it was founded. To form pastors configured in the life of Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd. As St. John, the evangelist tells us, in the Gospel according to John chapter 10, verse 11 to 15. This seminary has produced pastoral-minded priests who have, the, who have the faithful, the flock entrusted to them at heart. As of today, St. Mary's National Major Seminary, Gaba, has produced nearly 2,000 priests, has produced, has produced 19 bishops, some of whom are here present. You can mention, you may call, call it a litany of good things, but I think it has been summarized in our readings wherever, whenever you heard the word blessed. We thank the Lord for this blessing, and may his name be glorified forever. The seminary continues to support the Catholic Church in Uganda and beyond to transform itself into a self-administering, self-propagating, and a self-supporting entity. Among the former students here, who did not make it to the priesthood have, are, are and have been in the world as a responsible and a respectable citizens in the various parts of Uganda and beyond, in the public and private sectors. We thank them. Keep the candle burning which you received from this place. This seminary, the very 
purpose of its beginning, one of the reasons was to form priests with a national character of this country, Uganda. With this in mind, St. Mary's Seminary was meant to give a national character to the church in Uganda, to build unity, to build solidarity among priests wherever they work in this country. I told you, I taught here for, I was a student here for four years. I was a, st uh, a staff member for 10 years. I'm pleased wherever I go in any corner of Uganda, I come across, I meet either uh, a, form, a classmate of mine, a schoolmate, or my former student. But sometimes I tell them that we are both in the same classroom, only that while they were facing the chalkboard, I was looking at them, the, the, the students. That has made us people who have come almost from the same source. This seminary has brought us together from different cultural backgrounds and formed us as a clergy for this country, Uganda, a clergy for the church in the world. We are grateful to God and we thank Him indefinitely. To Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, for all things accessible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father of all ages, God from God, light from light, true light from the true God, the God and not man, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for us men. For the truth, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. According to the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, who will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified by those who open to the prophet. I believe in one called the Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the and the life of the world. A prayer for church leaders. As we thank the Almighty God who established his church on the foundation of the 12 apostles, let us pray for our church leaders, especially the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, and deacons, that he may continue sending them the Holy Spirit so that they may ably minister to God's flock like Christ the Good Shepherd. We pray to the Lord. A prayer for the civil servants in Renewal of Toro. Savile Abebezi Bamhanga Gaitu, Namunomuno, Abe Hungary to Uganda, Evi Barakuraga, Nebara Vazagaviona, Divendi Quatagana, Ningen de Ruaho, Ye Hungary to Hawaru Hanga, 
For this we pray the Lord. We pray to the Lord. St. Mary's National Seminary in Gaba in Kiswahili. Tunaomba kwa kupitia maombezi ya Bikira Maria mbalikiwa na mama yetu ili sisi wanajumuia kwa seminario ya mtakatifu Maria Gaba tuwe vyombo staili vya Rome takatifu na tuwe tayali kuitikia matakwa na mapenzi ya mungu na hasa tunapotakiwa kuwa mifano mizuri Ya kueneza umoja katika watu wa mungu. For this we pray. A prayer for an increase of vocations in Alor. Ruth Mungu majasho pusheke. Wafui pimish miluongu ingomwa mi Uganda. Anzilu nekai in seminario Muhammadit. Pa Maria Maleng Gaba. Walegu pitusheke ma iluongu nitiu iri. Pongi kukrasia peri. Kara gipe ni jukwat ma be ilanen pa adunde pa Yesu. We pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed in Uganda, to savire emioja baganda ba fe neva nina fe bewaita nadala Father Benedict Setuma na balala abawereza ko mukunjali abasa se doti dino tuksaba obawe chumle chemiende. We pray to the Lord. in our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you were yourself, you yourself are the source of all devotion. And grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith 
may true, we may truly obtain to make our prayer through Christ our Lord.
your son to rescue us graciously from death and from every evil, accept, we pray, in mercy, this sacrifice which we offer together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, our patron, to thank you for the gift of Gaba National Seminary and the abundant blessings you have showered upon us since the foundation of this seminary. To yourself, so that from the rising of the sun, to this setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said with blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Your faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come in glory. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the serving, serving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the Population of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we bless you, Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of, your, of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity the African Church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all who, have, who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy you forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, as we forgive those trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always.
let us all rise for the Magnificat. of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. May you who have devoutly gathered on this jubilee day of our patronage carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit Remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Let us be seated for the meantime. The concluding hymn will come later. My Lord, Bishop Joseph Anthony Ziwa, Bishop of Kindamitiana, our main celebrant, Thank you so much for leading us through the liturgy. Your graces and my lords, the archbishops and bishops, thank you so much for praying with us and for praying for us on this special day of our golden jubilee. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank in a special way the choir, the choir and the leader, Father Charles Senyondo, thank you so, so much. We're going to continue to bless you in all that you're doing. The next program will be given by the MCs, but that will be made up of speeches and other 
activities, I would like Therafa to invite Father Wise Benjamin and Dr. Vincent Wagire to take over. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Reverend Father Julius Caesar Kamkama. The Lord applause for him. Thank you. We thank our core MCs at Liturgy, Reverend Father Stephen Senkubuge, Reverend Father Emmanuel Chimboa, thank you so much. So far, so good. <laughs> Your Excellency, the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda, Luigi Bianco, grazie mille di cuore per essere con e per noi, nostro Padre, grazie mille. Thank you. Your Graces, your, Lord, your Lordships present, all dignitaries present, priests, deacons, seminarians, our parents, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, blessed be God who has blessed us in this heavenly presence of this occasion to dwell at Gaba, for it is right and fitting that we give God a loud applause for what we are, who we are, and what we are celebrating. This is indeed the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Allow me shortly to read you through the program we are going to follow. We shall have a few speeches from the rector, Reverend Father Lazarus Ruinda, who will, together with the chairman, the Episcopal Conference, priest, uh, chairman of the Episcopal Conference, Priest Reformation Commission, Right Reverend Francis Aquirinus Chivira, together will give awards within the speech of the rector. Thereafter, we shall have a speech from the Uganda Kingdom representative. And I'm aware that there is OHTWA Prosperous Nanchinu. OHTWA, you are most welcome as you represent the Katikir of Uganda, of, of Uganda Kingdom. Then we shall have the central government representative. Then we shall have a speech uh, from the Archbishop of Kampala. Then we shall have a speech from the chairman, Uganda Episcopal Conference, who at the same time has been our main celebrant, Right Reverend Joseph Anthony Ziwa, ordinary of Chienda Mitiana Diocese. Then lastly, we shall have a speech from our chief guest, none other than His Excellency, the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda, Luigi Bianco. Then we shall call it end to the speeches, and then the next program will be communicated to you as we go on. I take this singular honor to welcome our dear rector, Father Lazarus Ruyinda. Please come and give us your speech. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, Luigi Bianco, Papal Nuncio to Uganda, Your Graces, Dutch Bishops, Your Lordship, Your Lordship Bishop Joseph Anthony Zwa, Chairman of the Uganda Episcopal Conference, Your Lordships, members of the Uganda Episcopal Conference, the Reverend Monsignor Francis Xavier Mpanga, the Bishop elect Cotido Diocese, the Reverend Dominic. 
Owechiti wa Dr. Prosperous Nanki Ndukavuma, representing the Katikiro of Uganda. The President of the Lady, Mr. Jervas Janaro. Honorable Members of Parliament present. Mr. Marino Barsani and Dr. Arrigo Merandri from Italy. Superior Generals from the various religious congregations. Dear Reverend Fathers present, especially the old boys of this seminary, whom I'm humbly requesting to stand up, beginning from the younger ones who are seated this side. May we give them up. These are the OBs of this seminary. Thank you very much. Thank you, and you are most welcome. Dear Reverend Fathers present, all of you from everywhere, in a very special way, the pioneer priests that are seated here behind me, members of staff and students from our sister seminaries, our area chairperson, LC1, dear parents, all our dear visitors, good afternoon. It is just midday. I cordially welcome you to St. Mary's National Seminary at this memorable occasion of the celebration of our golden jubilee. You are all most welcome. The celebration of the 50 years of the foundation of Gaba National Seminary fills us with sentiments of joy and gratitude. 